Hello everyone and welcome back to Daying Light. I'm the Superf and yeah, so in the last episode we made here this mission, we saw this very strange gl green glowing zombie and yeah, I hope you also now see what this game is about. So it's uh, simply Dead Island but way way cooler because of this uh, parkour and jump and run stuff or feature which is so so cool I like this so much but okay so what I'm gonna do now is progressing a little bit in the story or just making this mission here talk to Spike and then I'm gonna see I'm gonna maybe do one mission more but then that's it so I'm not gonna do more until Edstar is here because I yeah it would be nice to play with him okay so let's go and then maybe you may ask but are you then still recording something and yes I will I have a plan for something but I'm not gonna tell you right now what it is oh yeah did you see there this, this little shop and everything and also the well, there's a lot to loot sometimes. For example, this one. You have to search. So, sometimes I do this. Right. Huh, that's strange. Okay. Yeah, that's important right now. That's very, very important. Really? Interesting. Yeah, sorry for that. I actually, how many dockets do I have? As you see, I'm already level 3 in uh, running. Forty-four. Hmm. Okay, I have to take a look at that. And that's what I'm doing because the good thing is that um, everything respawns. So I always have to check everything because I will need a lot. Because here the modded feature is available too, and this is the cool thing, you know, burning <laughs> swords or shield level up. Yeah, that's cool. Ah, well, it doesn't always respawn. Just to be clear, maybe I express myself not so. Good. <laughs> but it should. So... <laughs> Ciao. Okay, she's already one of the harder ones. Okay. So yeah, they do take fall damage. This is um, very cool. On the wall. Oh no, wrong direction. Try again. Oof. You I r sometimes I really really Ah yeah, and this is also something else, that the weapon doesn't respawn, but there where before no weapon was, so in this part, because there are always two things to loot, there so, um, it respawns, so... Yeah, yeah, 
why these sounds are not so welcoming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that he's literally flying slightly, time to time. Aware of that. They were very mean, these zombies, because they, well, run. They are harder, they can hit you hard. Yeah, everything you don't want. Ah, luckily here's a safe zone. Ah, we have to talk to him. Okay, let's first spend a few skill points. Okay, use the movement of attacking enemies to throw them around. When an enemy ch charges, press ALT and point in a direction to execute. Um, it sounds nice, but... <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the thing is here always that... When I'm... Well... Fighting with a zombie, I, I can't remember ALT now. So, well, it's... It's so much lower my thumb, so sometimes I don't hit it, because I forget it, so something I have to learn. But I think this is a lot better. I really think this one is the first thing you should purchase to see. I really like it. And yeah, now you say, but you can remember to see. Yeah, yeah. Where's that? Okay, now. Let's talk to him. Crane, first of all, you did great out there. From now on, if you need something, come see me. And to start with, use a UV flashlight and a remote control. You run up on a volatile, give him a face full of UV, or lead him into a trap which you can trigger with that remote. You got it? You yep. got it. Perfect. Now for the bad news. Despite your efforts, Brecken's mission failed. Oh, shit, is he okay? He's alive. But you need to get back to the tower. Jay called all the scouts in, and that means you. Oh, nice! Survivor rank up. But he has something else to say. Oh! Okay. Ghost. Thank you very much, Medkit, String. Ah, yeah, the other one has this too, always. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so let's... Crusader. I am gonna show you what this is about, weapon upgrades. A cool system. And it's even cooler if you have the best upgrade thing. <laughs> or, uh, yeah, I can just explain you it right now, fast. So there's Crusader, you see this color? So there's brown, gray green, maybe red or orange, and then gold, and then yeah you may know, the gray is the weakest one and the gold is the best one, and you can hear C, upgrade 0 of 1, then you can here click on F6, then you have here the sockets, and then you can put for example this one inside, and upgrade, and then you see it does one handling and one durability, and how much it, well, makes it better. So the good thing here is that it isn't like in Dead Island, where you lose durability, here you gain durability. And yeah, so there are weapons, but uh, really high level ones, but there are high level weapons, well, they can have three upgrades. And then with the best upgrade, you can have, you always receive 2, 2, 2 of each, and then times 3, you have then everything and max. Oh yeah, so I'm looking really forward to this. It's also something about I want to talk later on. Then, when I click middle button, I have this thing here. So the UV light. And this is very helpful during the night. 
but I want to show you something else so you see down there uh, down left <coughs> ah, first one do you see him Interesting. So for that, but it is that's real, really interesting. <laughs> Did you see this? Nice! Something different. Okay. Yeah. But still, it was cool. Then, you see, um, I don't have unlimited light. And then I can... Yeah, with tap I can see this. How much cash, metal parts, and metal parts you need to repair weapons. You see, I'm... Um, on the right side, the top bottom, you see there this well metal part thing. Sorry, just can't remember the name. Ah, yeah, and then here you can repair it five times and five, five. Oh, five times. Okay, they changed that. Then uh, something else. Because there was a. How did I change the other thing? Ah, yeah, holding two. Here you see here are. Um, you have here three empty equipment um, parts, slat, slots, and. Yeah, inside you can, for example, put uh, these things that made noise. You know, these blueprints. Firecrackers or motos or flares or throwing stars. So these things you can put... Oh yeah, here you see always how it looks like. Very, very cool. You can put them inside here and then toggle between them and yeah. As same as here. The only thing is that you need the tap for changing weapons or just scroll where with the mouse and the or then hit two then you can also change the second part the additions let's take like that. I still I'm can't really remember I have to check it out afterwards if I have if I can also scroll there, or with another command, you know, change it, like in a weapon, I'm not so sure. I have to check this out. So I, I don't really know now. <laughs> but yeah, let's do this first assembly thing. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Crane here. Report. I'm about to have a meeting with the tower's leader. Acknowledged. Confirm his identity and contact us immediately. <laughs> See what we're breaking in the tower? Okay, let's do this. And yeah, so that's really cool that you have these two <laughs> slots. And you can throw a grenade or something like that when there are too many zombies. But yeah, uh, as always, noise attracts them. So theoretically, this mission would be. Oh. Jade called a meeting in the tower. It's my opportunity to finally meet with Bracken and confirm his identity. Yeah. So. What did I say? 
Oh yeah, um, this mission would be already for two, for Corp, I think. Yeah, so seems it's gonna be my last mission or something like that. I have to take a look at that. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool, dude. Um, here you can buy weapons. And this is for higher ranks, so you can... Yeah, it's a really spoiler seal. I think it's made... Um, it's... Extra. Because... Well, then you see how much damage you receive for the next two levels, or in the next two levels, and a deal. that really presses you to level up. I think it's like that. Could be. Then sell. Okay, I could. S yeah, you can also sell a lot and a buy back. So sell all valuables would be something in here, I think. But I don't want to do this. Oh, wait. Decide, 650. 3, 550, 650. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so you can just hit F. And then everything in these valuables are... Sorry for that. That's my error. My prices are more than fair. Yeah, it's uh, nothing I need. So you can sell this, no problem. Oh yeah, let's let's first talk with... Oh no, let's do this on a time. Right now I want to progress in the main story. Then, yeah, let's go. Crane, listen, Brecken and a team of runners went after an airdrop last night. He lost the rest of his team to biters, and then Ryza's men ambushed him, beat him to a pulp, and stole the drop. Now Brecken wants to go after the next drop himself, but we can't let him, and you've got to back me up, okay? For God's sake! You can't even walk straight! We need you alive, you idiot! Okay, we're going in. Act confident. Brecken? Lena? Maybe you can get through to him. Jade, who's your friend? Kyle Crane. Look, Brecken, the last thing we need is for you to go back out there. We can figure out another way without jeopardizing you. Right, Crane? I'll go. I'll do it. Right. Yes. Crane will go. He'll be happy to. Jesus. No offense, friend, but you're as green as grass. You can't just... Crane will manage. He'll start in the right spot. And Lena's right. You need to be here taking care of the towers, convincing them the world's not over yet. Oh, hell. Maybe one more try before we go to Rice. Yeah. Okay, fine. Good luck, Crane. Good luck. Jade, a moment. Sure. Head for the cauldron, I'll be in touch shortly. Look, there's something else we need to discuss. Brecken was hurt pretty bad out there. Worse than he wants people to know. He took a blow to the head. Now he's starting to have seizures, and I don't have any Lora tracks. Yeah, I doubt anyone does. Anti-seizure drugs were being passed out like candy when the infection first started. And the stores ran out weeks ago. Yes, that's right. How do you know that? Look, what do you need me to do, Lena? There's a man in town named Ghazi. He's not altogether there, if you know what I mean. His mother had epilepsy, so he used to pick up medicine for her each month. She died two years ago, but Ghazi kept going to the store to pick up her prescription. He likes his routine, and Ghazi can be very... insistent. So, they kept giving it to him. You think he's been stockpiling it all this time? If he hasn't, I don't know where else we're going to get it from. Ghazi lives under the overpass. And don't mention his mother's death. He won't understand.
Alright. Ah, oh, then I can hold T and then rewards. Okay. I do you see on the map top left all these exclamation marks. Oh that's gonna be a lot to well talk to. Because we have to talk to all these people. Yeah yeah yeah. But I'm gonna do this in the next episode. So if you like this episode and don't forget to subscribe and also thumbs up, this is a super F in Dead Dying Light. Have a nice day and bye.